Begin with the Heat, who are hoping to take a two game to none lead tonight against the Hornets. This is a team that's learned firsthand that some things are bigger than basketball. CBS4 sports anchor Jim Barry is live at the AAA with that story. Jim? That is certainly true. Double amen to that first with Chris Bosch and his situation is ongoing issue with blood clots. Thankfully, he is back on the bench, although not playing yet. And also assistant coach Keith Smart. He is back with the team just in time for the playoffs after battling and beating a very rare form of cancer. When basketball fans hear the name Keith Smart, they think of the college kid from Indiana whose clutch shot won a national championship. Smart takes a shot. But to the Heat, Smart represents inspiration. Three games into the season, he was diagnosed with dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. Type of skin cancer that only affects uh, one in one million people. Um, and then only 1,000 cases in the U.S. a year. Smart was forced to take a leave of absence. Surgeons cut out much of the cancerous skin around his jaw, replacing it with a graft from his leg. Yeah, one foot long. Wow. And uh, two inches deep that they had to go in into my leg. Afterwards, 30 rounds of radiation zapped his strength, but left him cancer free. Now the guy the team calls Smarty is back just in time for the playoffs. He kind of brought us together when he went out um, as a team um, in the locker room. We came together and, you know, kind of that motivation was, you know, do it for Smarty. While recuperating at his California home, Smart was bombarded by text messages and phone calls from Heat players, coaches and staff. Well, it just showed me what the overall um, uh, organization is all about. Uh, we are behind you. We're pulling for you. Basketball is second nature. You know, we want you to be in the right frame of mind, be in the right health, uh, so that you can do what, you, uh, what, what we hired you here to do. Smart stayed locked in while away, filing long-distance coaching reports. Now the team will allow him to slowly work his way back to the bench. He's here for good right now, so he's going to be involved. Well, whether or not he's on the bench or not, he's, he's going to be involved. Smart says the ordeal has changed his perspective on life, but not his sense of humor. He recalls asking his wife a brutally honest question. I mean, I'm looking a little bit different now, and, uh, but uh, overall, uh, if I would have came up to you looking like this uh, 25, 28 years ago, uh, would you have talked to me? She said, no, I would told you to keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it's true that love does grow over time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Keith, brother, I guess we got one thing in common, man. We both married very honest women. Keith Smart says the love he got from the Heat is certainly a huge part of his recovery. We have more on the Heat and the Hornets at 6 o'clock. Till then, live from the AAA, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports. All right, good to see Coach Smart back on the sidelines. We certainly wish him the best in his recovery. Yeah, absolutely. And good to have a sense of humor about it. Too, you need you know? that, no doubt.